Tuesdays usually mean update days, or in today's case, well, a playlist update. So nothing really too major, and truthfully, out of that, we didn't get anything really major. What we're gonna talk about today is everything that this little mini update actually did bring to the table, while not much, and what the implications may be, and why there are still some things withheld that you may have been looking forward to. And then finally, at the very end, something that I wanna talk to you guys about in terms of what to expect in terms of the upcoming week, because this is a dry week and it might not be the only one. That said, let's jump right into the things that did change here first and foremost. So as it stands right now, today's brand new playlist update gave us a handful of game modes those are revolving around Nuketown in particular. These replace some of your featured playlists that we had up on deck, but we now have Hardcore Nuketown and also Hardcore Mercenary Nuketown. So unfortunately for you core players, it's a little passed over for this week, a week off in a sense, but for hardcore players, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are really looking forward to this because it is something that I've, at least even here on the channel, seen a couple of comments asking for these featured game modes, and whether or not it was Nuketown, it was something we still got two featured playlists for the Hardcore game mode. Now, both of them actually do have the modes of Kill Confirmed, TDM, and Domination. It really just comes down to if you want to play in a party or not. So, of course, Mercenary allows you to play solo against other solo players and Hardcore Nuketown, just regular. You can play as a solo, but you will be matched up against parties as well if the matchmaking works out in that regard. One thing, though, that I did hear and I find quite curious is that apparently there's some party restrictions within the Hardcore Nuketown playlist. From what I've heard, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't had the opportunity to test this out myself just yet, but I've heard that it is 6v6 in the sense that, of course, it can go all the way up to six players a team, but there's a restriction on parties that sets it at five, so you don't have a full party of six, and I guess that's to kind of combat spawn trapping within Nuketown because it's already a hardcore spawn trapping map to begin with, but when you add in the game mode of hardcore and that lowered health, then it becomes Trap City, and there's absolutely no escaping it if there is a full six man, so I guess by bringing it down by one player, it reduces that slightly? I don't know. I've heard that though, and it's kind of curious that that was done, but might be for the better, might not be. I guess we'll see at the end of the week. For Xbox One and PC changes that came today, we ended up finally seeing Ambush added in for Blackout. That's something that, again, is that sniper's only game mode. You have the ability to use the Paladin, the Koshka, the SDM, as well as the Outlaw. Plus, you have your melee weapon of the Bowie Knife, which makes for some wild gameplay. And of course, you do have a launcher scattered in there every so often or so, but it's something that is tremendous fun. Of course, it is a quads game mode that, towards the end, it gets insane. I'm gonna be totally real with you again. That zone really starts to hit hard and then that final circle closes way faster than you think. So you'll see that there's probably still 20 people or so alive at the very end. And it is something you gotta have your head on a swivel because everybody will be shooting every which way. And if you can stay in cover, at least not in every single player's viewpoint, you should be good. But it's a lot of fun seriously jump on and play this. As with how the gauntlets kind of provided a new refreshing way to play zombies, I think this game mode is again another new refreshing way to play Blackout. It's still your traditional Blackout in a sense, but enough of a change up that it is very fun to play. The other thing that finally got brought over to Xbox One and PC was the brand new Gauntlet for Nine. So this again tasks you with 30 new unique challenges in 30 rounds for you to complete. Again, a speedrunner's dream if you wanna try and do this as fast as possible, that's the goal, or you can simply just try and survive. You'll end up getting incremental rewards for the 10, 20, and 30 round completions. If you can end up doing those, again, it'll track your time, but also give you those cool little rewards like calling cards, nothing too insane, but it is a nice, again, break away from how you traditionally play zombies and adds a different layer of how you can end up competing. So I really enjoy this gauntlet system. I'm looking forward to the next one up on deck. My guess is since we've seen Voyage of Despair and Nine already that we'll end up seeing Blood of the Dead come next, but we'll see if that actually comes true in the future. Outside of that, we kind of swap over to something that is across the board, and we'll go back down to segmenting things into individual consoles for you guys, but at a top-down level, the black market now has 50% off tiers for an entire week, so until next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's when you'll end up having the ability to buy 50% off your tiers, so 50 COD points instead of 100 COD points per tier if you want to progress and kind of skip ahead a little bit there at that. Unfortunately, it's not applicable to anything in the Blackjack shop or in the special orders, and in terms of that, we did get a refund. Fresh. Unfortunately, it's across the board stuff that we've all seen and nothing is really new out of this. As we mentioned on the channel before, we've seen everything from the preliminary operation trailers and teasers, so I'm not really expecting anything in terms of new content for a few more weeks. So this refresh is just kind of, again, a second or third or maybe even fourth chance to buy some of these items that you've seen before and may have been interested.
interested in. As for PlayStation 4, there is the Excalibur Battery Uniform, the Shaman Crash Uniform, the I Give Up Emote, the Face Paint Bundle, and the Valkyrie Bundle. With the Valkyrie Bundle, it is something that comes along with the Ruin Gear plus the Paladin variants, and honestly, I think this is genuinely the last chance for this Valkyrie Bundle. We saw the sort of run of how this worked, the first half of the event being the Mastercraft for the Valkyrie Paladin variant, plus also that uniform you got for Ruin, and the other things sprinkled in between there. And then the latter half of the event, we saw the Vampire Hunter Vapor variant bundle added in. That was something that was available two or three times now, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, since the halfway point of the event itself. So the way that I see it, this is the last chance here for this Valkyrie bundle, and therefore next week for the final week of the event on PlayStation 4, that's when we'll see the Vampire Hunter Vapor variant make its return one final time as well. So if you dig this or the Vampire Hunter Vapor variant, make sure you check these out before they're gone, presumably for good. And finally, the last special order is the Chieftain Special Order for Ruin. You get a nifty little pogo stick emote of the hop to it, plus the culmination of that order being the Chieftain Ruin outfit. Pretty cool, but again, I think I can live without this one truthfully. But as for the stuff on Xbox One and PC, that's what we had for a little bit here to start out last week of PlayStation 4. So it kind of trickled down. Some of it is still the same as with what we saw yesterday. Some will change over halfway through the week. We end up seeing that Ultimus Tack is back. We have the Sultana Zero outfit. Then you have the Rocket Box weapon camo, as well as the You Missed It emotes and the special orders of the Crimson Lotus Seraph theme, plus the Centurion Ajax theme available to close that out. So, of course, those are all available if you guys want to check those out and do with them what you please but those are available in the marketplace as of right now and as for what actually changed today that's all there is unfortunately it's again not all that much there is one thing still withheld that will come to xbox one and pc later on in the week that being thursday i got a couple of tweets about this asking me where it was but that said the camo support for blackout and zombies will end up coming out on thursday so that's one week after ps4 ended up getting it as well so there was that slight delay last week if you guys remember so therefore that seven day period then just pushes it back a little bit for this week as well for the other two platforms and i know that i talked about this a little bit yesterday but i hope i conveyed it well enough yesterday and if I did not my sincerest apologies I did not mean to confuse anybody if that was the inadvertent result of that but that said it is something that I got a couple of questions already asking me about that but I wanted to clarify for you guys to let you know it's not something that is a bug or it's not showing up on accident it's just withheld until this coming Thursday for Xbox One and PC but when that time finally does come you'll be able to progress through the ranks of your camos in both zombies as well as blackouts to ultimately get that goal of dark matter which again as we talked about here last week is unfortunately just the rehash of the same Dark Matter from multiplayer. I talked about it a little bit last week as well that I was kind of bummed out that we didn't get something that more so conveyed the actual mode itself in terms of a mastery camo. Like for zombies, you could have done some cool Element 115 themed weapon camo or something like that. You could have done something. There was an animated camo that reflected the old school control indicator of the color of the eyes of the zombies on the weapon skin. And then in Blackout, I think it would have been really cool to see, say, like the numbers uniform ported over to be its own weapon camo as well. I think that that would have been a better way to handle these and be a little bit more personal and worthwhile for those grinding it out in each specific mode. But unfortunately, we do have just a rehash of the same old gold, diamond, and dark matter. And in terms of blackout, the brand new functionality adds also an entire new performance and technical standpoint of camos for every single weapon. But in order to unlock those, you don't do headshot challenges or anything like that. You simply collect paint cans, which are just scattered around the map and can take a while, but you gotta just go searching for them. So dark matter is not necessarily so much of a skilled grind, but more so literally just a monotonous grind of who can find the most cans. But talking about the rest of things though, the unfortunate part about not only this week, but also the next week is that truthfully, I don't think that I'd expect any sort of content updates for the rest of this season of Operation Absolute Zero. I think we're going to be getting a lot of rehashes, a lot of different game modes that we've seen before. And so next week, I think that it's going to be maybe just as dry, if not a little more dry than this week, which is kind of a bummer. It is something that I'm sure a lot of people are starting to wonder, where's the support for MP? Where's the new additions in the black market and the contraband stream and the blackjack shop and things like that? Because we haven't really seen all that much. That said, with something as massive as a brand new operation looming on the horizon on the 19th, we'll be getting a brand new and large influx of content for not only MP, but also Blackout as well as Zombies apparently. So with that coming on the 19th and then a week later for Xbox One and PC, I don't really see all that much in terms of new additions being added in at the very tail end here at this one. We saw that there was a 50% off deal in terms of the contraband stream, so obviously that's a last second push here for anybody that may have missed it, so therefore it's going to be the same thing I think in just rehashing things people may have missed 
and may want to take advantage of for one final time. So unfortunately, I think that's what we're going to call it here with it. This update itself was not anything too spectacular, which is unfortunate. But again, we are getting closer now to when we end up seeing Operation Absolute Zero end in Operation 3 take its place. So while for the time being, it will be a little bit of a downer in terms of Black Ops 4, we do have a lot to look forward to in the very near future. So that's it. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys agree with this sentiment that I don't think that we're going to really see anything until Operation 3 actually happens? Or do you think we'll see one final surprise introduction of something as of, say, next week? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found this insightful. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4. Multiplayer, Blackout, Zombies, we got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me out to YouTube, where I can live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it is, link in the description below. That said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Might as well espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.